Honey. Don't tell me serious, the moment delirious. Money fast, you curious. Get a bag, could care less. Skirt off, you got left. Play ball for a check. Chandeliers on my ears. What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best up to date shooting and dribble moves for a small guard. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna get right into it. Dries dribble moves, um, they're not hard to do. You feel me? I feel like if you just started out with a guard build, these are basic uh, analog stick controls, like left, right, and behind the backs and stuff. And you can cancel out of a lot of moves. Uh, you get a lot of ankle breakers this year. They be making you fall this year, bro. I got some clips for y'all. Oh! Yeah, it's basically basic left, rights, and stuff. So you gotta do step backs, cancel out of it, has you, you feel me? Pretty smooth, I'm moving fast. Uh, it's nice and fun, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna show y'all what saves I'm rocking with. I feel like these are the best ones. That's up to date. Kind of the fastest right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. All right, boom. So these are the playmaker moves for our dribble style. I feel like Darius Garland's the best. I went through my trial and error of lapping up, trying to figure out the best and fastest dribble moves. For me, at least, you feel me? I'm kind of new to guard builds. I always have like a big or all around player. So this worked best for me. The requirements for this one are um, your speed with ball has to be 85 or higher and you have to be under 6'5". So that's not bad. Most people can get that one. See, y'all can see I'm with the child and error with a lot of these six. Trey Young, fastest uh, standstill dribble. I like standstill dribbling this year is pretty good. And I feel like Trey Young had the best one. Uh, for this requirements, you do need a 92 ball handle. So that uh, that's pretty high. So yeah, look out for that one. These other ones, none of these are bad. Uh, all these six I have equipped, they're all uh, usable and they work pretty good, pretty efficient. Uh, for our regular breakdown combo, we have Isaiah Thomas. You need an 85 ball handle, and uh, um, you need to be under 6'5". Our aggressive breakdown combo, Isaiah Thomas again. Basically, how you do that is you hold the right trigger down and flick the analog stick up. I would like to do that after I get out of the left, right. Feel me? I just break it down a little bit, and then I uh, has out of it or... Uh, speed boost out of that move. So I like these moves, especially the little crab dribble right there. You see that right there? That's fire. Uh, escape moves, we got Curry. I feel like even in NBA, he has the best escape moves. Uh, so yeah, you get the Curry slide with it too sometimes. You can't spam the Curry slide, but you get the little behind the back, James Harden step back type thing, you feel me? So we got Steph Curry's for that. And you do need a 92 bar handle. All right, for the combo moves, we got JP. Uh, ball handle, you only need an 80 for this one. I like the snatch back he does right there. Uh, it's pretty effective. Crossover JP as well. It's like the quickest, one of the quickest, like just drop. When you're driving through the lane and there's two people, just drop, drop crossover super quick and get right by him. It's low key like a speed boost. All right, so for the behind the back, we got Darius Garland. You need an 84 ball handle for this one. I don't know if it's just me, but y'all see this quick wraparound right here? Like, I don't know if the game's messed up, but with all these cigs, every time I do that quick wraparound, like into traffic, I always get a turnover. It could hit their foot and it's still gonna be out on me. I don't know how or why, but every time I do that quick wraparound right here coming up, I don't know why it does that. You can do it like before you get to them and you'll be cool. But when you're dribbling into traffic, like how you do other dribble moves, how you could dribble into the person and not lose the ball. With this one, you're gonna lose the ball pretty much every time. Cause like, obviously you're throwing it into them, but like, I don't get that. Like other moves, you could dribble into them and stuff, cross into them and then you won't lose the ball. Every time I do that behind the back, I lose the ball. But yeah, moving on, we got the spin. I use basic because I don't want to spin too fast until the person lose the ball. But if you do want this fast spin, I recommend using Darius Garland. It's an 84 ball handle for that one, so it's pretty low. Um, hesitation, we got CP. I like his Hezzy escape. Darius Garland's is good too. But I would use Curry's if you don't use Chris Paul's. And for this one, you only need 80 ball handle. Step back, I don't really use this much, but I like Tyrese Halliburton just because it's easy to combo out of. You can see right here, watch. A little quick double step back, kind of. It's like a quick, short double step back. It's easy to like step back, 
uh, hesitation crossover, you know, the behind the back is easy to combo out of this uh, step back right here. So I would recommend this out of all of them. And you need a, only a 79 bar handle for that one. Triple three, I don't really use this, but Curry's is good because he has probably one of the best in the league in real life. So that's all the playmaker moves. Pretty simple moves, you know, uh, easy to learn, especially for people starting out with guard builds or starting out on 2K in general. Easy to learn. Only a few moves that you really need to do is the left, right, and you're going to create space pretty much every time. A lot of people don't know how to play defense, bro. So you're going to be pretty good. All right, we get into the jump shot now. The best part, you feel me? Um, this is my Barney build I just posted. Let me give y'all some gameplay in a few days. I'm going to be grinding out my build and stuff. I just don't got the face creation on right now. But uh, yeah, this is the jump shot right here. Y'all can see it. Pause the video if you want. I feel like. It's easy as well for people who are starting out. Me, like I said, I always had bigs and like all around players. So I never had like a real point guard with a high three and just a real point guard. So I feel like this is the easiest to use, easy to time. I always use meter, like, cause like I said, I never really had to worry about shooting. So I always have my meter on. I don't have my meter on this year. And I get, I green like consistently every game. So. I feel like this is the easiest jump shot if you're just starting out even if you aren't just starting out it's smooth easy to time and it's consistent so we got Dwayne Wade for lower base for this you need a you need to be under 6'5 and have an 83 um three point shot or an 83 main range for upper release one we got Kyrie Irving under 6'5 as well 83 may range or 83 three-point shot upper release we got oscar robertson as well 83 mid range or 83 three-point shot and then the blending speed uh for my put i got it on push <clears throat> i got it like one inch like one level up above push and then the release speed is maxed out and then the animation blending 35 Kyrie and 65 oscar robertson now for the settings all right, so I never knew this, so I'm learning it with y'all. But to turn off your shot meter, you go to the customize HUD and then go to shot meter shots. Visibility for shots, turn it off, bro. I'm telling you, it's way better this year and you need to turn it off. Turn your shot feedback on too. You need to know if you need to hold it longer or let it go earlier. All right, so for the shooting, you want to put on a high risk reward. It's like the best mode to have it on. I don't really know how to explain it, but basically, um, it's like, how do I say it? Some of them, you like, I feel like people with lower jump shots use low risk reward because you can make whites this year. But it's easier to shoot on high risk reward and green on high risk reward than those ones. But those ones will give you a white three point shot. I don't know how to explain it too much, but if you're gonna listen to me, I recommend using high risk reward. I feel like that's the best mode to shoot on. Layup, uh, you don't want to green it every time. Put on a low risk reward, put it on normal or high if you want, but I use a, nor a low, my bad. So for your jump shot, uh, I, can't, I put mine on release. Push works as well, but I feel like release is easier to time. Basically, for this jump shot, once it gets right here, and like gets to about to release the ball, that's when you let it go. So right when it gets to the top of the head, if you don't look at your jump shot while you're shooting it, Right when it gets the top of the head, let it go. Boom. I'm going to show y'all right now how that works. I'm going to show y'all when to let it go. Let's see. So right when it gets right there, let it go. Boom. You feel me? Let it go. Boom. Let it go. Let it go. Boom. You ain't going to make every shot, but y'all get the point. So when you bring it up, Right when it gets like right here is when you let it go. Like right when you about to flick your wrist. Bow, it's gonna be green every time. Look, green, you feel me? Right when it gets right there, that's when you let it go. If you're gonna look at yourself while you're doing it, after you get it down, you're just gonna know it already, you feel me? Like, it's just gonna be in your head. The hezzy is good, tell me. Y'all, when y'all moving, instead of doing standstill dribble, tell you, just hold that step back. Like you're gonna do a step back, you're gonna get them every time. People don't know how to play defense, bro. All you gotta do is outsmart them. You don't gotta do uh, have the fastest dribbles or um, 
spam stuff. Like all you gotta do is know when to do a certain move and you're gonna score it every single time. I'm telling you, bro. It's all a mind game. IQ, that's all you gotta have is IQ. I play basketball in real life, so it comes natural for me in 2K. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope I was a help a little bit. I'm gonna bring y'all some gameplay for this build in like a day or two. Like I said, I've been grinding out this build uh, in my career and stuff. I've been playing park for like the last two days. I think I'm on like rookie five. But yeah, I got y'all with some gameplay. This build is tough, bro. Like it's unguardable, I promise you. I'm telling you, this is the best build you can make. It's a demigod build. If you wanna lock anybody down, I'll be locking seven foot center down. I'll be locking shorter guards than me down, taller guards than me. I'll be locking everybody down, bro. But yeah, that's it for me today, y'all. My bad for the long outro. Uh, like I said, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope I was a help. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you like the video, and y'all stay tuned. Stay up. Stay blessed. Deuces.